السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا فيكم يا شباب وصبايا This is Ibrahim with you Welcome to another episode of Arabic Phrases In this episode we will be learning some of the most essential and key phrases on how to express your opinion on how to request an opinion, uh, advice and how to reply to these uh, questions I hope you really enjoy it and find it helpful uh, so what we'll be learning, 20 essential phrases on how to express your opinion in Arabic and reply. Okay, so the first one is Kif shayif or shayfe al shigal So shayif if you're asking masculine and shayfe if you're asking feminine. Kif shayif al shigal Kif shayif al shigal or Kif shayfe al shigal And the response you could say أنا شايف masculine talking أنا شايف الشغل ماشي مثل ما متوقع أنا شايف الشغل مثل ما متوقع I am seeing the work as expected or I think the work will be seen as expected so متوقع which means expected or projected uh, okay and if feminine is replying and responding she would say أنا شايف الشغل ماشي is going مثل ما متوقع as expected مثل ما متوقع as expected okay and our third one is شو رأيك if you're talking to masculine شو رأيك and شو رأيك if you're talking to feminine شو رأيكون if you're talking to a group of people and here is reflected to that so obviously in Arabic from right to left and in English from left to right so masculine, feminine, plural Masculine, feminine, plural. So when you, you see it, you know which one is masculine and which one is feminine and which one is plural. So you could say, شو رأيك? رأي, which means opinion. So what is your opinion? شو رأيك? Or شو رأيك? Or شو رأيكون في الشغل الجديد? شو رأيكون في الشغل الجديد? What do you make? What do you think about the new job? And the response could be, Birai in my opinion, so birai in my opinion, so both masculine and feminine would use it. Or if we are as a group of people replying, you say birai'na, birai'na inno muthir lal ihtimam. So muthir lal ihtimam, which means interesting. So in this case, oh, very interesting. Birai or birai'na inno that muthir lal ihtimam. Okay, our second group. شو وجهة نظرك؟ شو وجهة نظرك؟ And نظر is view or look. So what's your look? What's your view towards something? So شو وجهة نظرك؟ نظرك نظركن في السوق. So what do you think? What's your view on the market? شو وجهة نظرك؟ نظرك نظركن في السوق in the market and the response you could say من وجهة نظري من وجهة نظري is because of the apostrophe s that's why we pronouncing the feminine case t in terms of pronunciation verbally only not written that's why I pronounce the, the feminine case t so you would say من وجهة نظري السوق بطيء from my point of view the market is slow or from what I can see, the market is slow. من وجهة نظري السوق بطيء. Okay. We say as well, كيف بتشوف? How do you see? كيف بتشوف? Or كيف بتشوفي? Talking to feminine. السوق, السوق بعد شهر. How do you see the market in a month? كيف بتشوف? السوق بعد شهر. And talking to feminine, you would say, كيف بتشوفي السوق بعد شهر? And the response could be, أنا بتوقع السوق رح يكون بطيء. أنا بتوقع, بتوقع, which means I expect, I'm expecting. أنا بتوقع السوق, the market, رح يكون, will be, بطيء, will slow down. So I think the market will slow down. I'm expecting the market will slow down. Our third group is كيف نظرتك لمو كيف نظرتك نظرتك لموضوع القروض قروض which means loans 
obviously you could change qurud to anything else so you could say kif nazartak la mawdu' al qurud if you're talking to masculine and if you're talking to feminine you would say kif nazartak la mawdu' al qurud what's your view or take on the loan topic and the response would be bi nazari in my view in my opinion bi nazari fi ihtimaliyya there's the possibility fi ihtimaliyya tkun to be najha jiddan jiddan which means very so bi nazari fi ihtimaliyya tkun najha jiddan bi nazari fi ihtimaliyya tkun najha jiddan you could say as well Birayi, in my opinion, I think Birayi had al shigil yimkin yukun nos nos, or we could say khamsin bil miya, khamsin bil miya, which means fifty, fifty, fifty percent. So you could say nos nos, or khamsin bil miya, fifty percent. So I think the work might be fifty, fifty. You would say in Arabic, Birayi had al shigil yimkin yukun, yimkin, which means might. You're going to be nos nos 50-50. We could say as well, min nahiti from my side, from my perspective, from where I could see it. Min nahiti bzun, from my side, I think bzun, fi ijabiyat ktire lal shigil. Fi ijabiyat, positives. Fi ijabiyat, positives or pros. Fi ijabiyat, ktire lal shigil. Min nahiti, bzun fi ijabiyat, ktire lal shigil. Great. Now we've got another group. Min jihatak, from your side, mean from your perspective. Min jihatak, or min jihatak, talking to feminine. Kif kan al ishtima'a. من جهتك كيف كان الاجتماع؟ So from your side, how was the meeting? Or how did you think the meeting went? And if you're talking to feminine, you say من جهتك كيف كان الاجتماع؟ من جهتك كيف كان الاجتماع؟ So جهتك جهتك And the response could be من جهتي From my side, from my perspective الاجتماع كان فعال effective proactive فعال و مهم كتير and important مهم important كتير which means a lot so from my side from my perspective the meeting was very proactive or pro productive or effective and important another expression we use we say بالنسبة إلك بالنسبة إلك so with regards to your thoughts with regards to what you think or in accordance to what you think or in accordance to what you believe so we use that بالنسبة إل بالنسبة إل and to the end of it you could add any possessive pronoun so you could say بالنسبة إلك if you're talking to masculine بالنسبة إلك كيف كان الدرس you know with regards to to you or in your opinion uh, how do you think was the lesson how do you think the lesson went and if you're talking to feminine you say بالنسبة إليك بالنسبة إليك uh, with regards to you or, or how do you think the lesson went and the response would always be بالنسبة إلي from my side in my opinion بالنسبة إلي which means uh, بالنسبة إلي which means according to me or from my side or with regards to me or or with regards to what I think so that's what actually it means and at the end of it you add the possessive pronoun e so you would say بالنسبة إلي الدرس or الدرس the lesson كان شيق was interesting or مفيد and helpful beneficial كتير which means a lot so مفيد which means beneficial or helpful. In our final group, we've got a number of very important and essential phrases we do use a lot in English and I thought I would bring and find the equivalent in Arabic. So hopefully you can find it useful and use it within your speech. So you've got 
مع احترامي لرأيك مع which means with احترام is respect لرأيك لا which is to and رأي is opinion and ak is you talking to the person so مع احترامي لرأيك هذا غير صحيح so مع احترامي لرأيك if you're talking to masculine and obviously if you're talking to feminine you say مع احترامي لرأيك so the ek sound to the end of it where you would change it and in English, what does it mean? It means with due respect. With due respect or opinion, this isn't correct. So, ma ahtirami la ra'yak, ma ahtirami la ra'yak, if you're talking to feminine. Okay, the second one is, Iza biddak ra'yi sarih, Iza, if biddak you want ra'yi, my opinion, is sarih, honest, ana mish muafa, I disagree. And I I disagree in the English means if you want my honest opinion, I disagree. Iza biddak ra'i sarih ana mish muafa. Iza biddak ra'i my opinion is sarih honest ana I am mish muafa agree. So mish muafa means disagree. Okay, so we've got this. Ala qadr ma a'taqid. على قدر ما أعتقد as far as I'm concerned على قدر ما أعتقد على قدر ما أعتقد على قدر ما أعتقد هذا ما رح يشتغل so على قدر ما أعتقد it means in English is the equivalent of as far as I'm concerned so على قدر ما أعتقد as far as I'm concerned هذا ما رح يشتغل this wouldn't work so على قدر ما أعتقد our final phrase is Mandi a figra on Hadal Motua Mandi which means I don't have a which means any figra is an idea on Hada about this so an which means about or on Hada this El Motua which means topic so I have no idea on this topic on this matter Mandi Mandi a figra on Hada El Motua ما عندي أي فكرة عن هذا الموضوع and this is our final phrase thank you very much for watching this tutorial I hope you really enjoyed it and found it helpful please don't forget to subscribe and share with your colleagues hopefully as well they find it helpful and enjoy learning Arabic till next time hope you have a lovely day and keep well مع السلامة